It is not every day that Kenyan scientists are celebrated for conducting research that will better the lives of farmers around the world. In the next few months, though, a group of local scientists might just be the first in the world to develop an alternative vaccine for the livestock lung disease, a disease that affects 1.3 million Kenyans and 24 million people globally, costing the Kenyan economy 6.4 billion shillings in losses. There are local names for the disease. For example, the Maasai is called it all KPA. Uh, while the um, Somali communities call it Sambap and the Kikuyu will call it Mahuri Mangombe. All Murimua Mahuri Mangombe. Ni ugonjwa mbaya kwa sababu hakuna dawa yenye tunayosatibu kwa ngombe. Ikishikia ngombe, ngombe inatovika, inaenda, inaenda, ikikonda. Ikianza kuhara ngombe inakufia hapo. Haiko haina tatu. Hako ingine ikichinjwa, ikashika hii. There is a vaccine in use currently, which has been in the market for about 20 years now, but farmers don't like it due to the side effects associated with it, such as the tail of the cows falling off. It requires one to vaccinate two or three times in a year to be able to get good uh, herd immunity. Over the past four years, Kenyan scientists have teamed up with Canada and South Africa to develop a better vaccine and has even set up a lab dedicated exclusively for research on this disease and purchased a high-throughput processing machine, the first of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa. This machine can test 50 to 100 diseases in a sample as small as 50 microliters. It is able to do that in one well, which you see there, She's only pipetting into one well. These are 96 wells, mm -hmm. so you can test up to 9,600 diseases. And how long does it take? It take 45 minutes to do the whole 9,600 samples. So, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So what we're trying to say now is we will be able to actually not only diagnose disease, but control disease. Within a day, we can report back to farmers that this is the disease that's in your area, but also your animal has all these other diseases that you might want to treat for. This will bring down the cost of treatment because often people treat a disease based on just clinical symptoms. Before this equipment was brought in, it would have taken days and weeks to diagnose a disease. When we go into the field, we also want to do disease surveillance because we would also like to deliver our vaccine with any other vaccines that would be helpful to the farmer. So far, a total of 66 possible vaccine candidates have been tested and scientists have narrowed down to five with field trials being conducted on Boran and Zebu cattle breeds in Kenya. The animals which are vaccinated, when they go through the disease, they have the strength to recover. Those which are not vaccinated will go ahead with the disease and suffer severe lung lesions, which we call lung disease. So this is an example of a serious lung disease. Where we are, we can say we have maybe a year before we have a product, a product that we can transfer to the industry for production. And we hope that it will be a product which can have advantages over the current one in terms of transport. The one we are developing does not require cold storage, does not require cold chain, whereas the current one requires cold chain. But even as the scientists work to develop a vaccine, farmers' uptake is currently at just 20%, which the researchers are hopeful will improve once the better vaccine is released. Zainab Wandati, NTV, for Food Friday.